what is currently unfolding at MTN Uganda, shocking as it may seem, had already been foreseen by Prophet Elvis Mbonye. Those of you who work in MTN, you're on the spotlight, eh? I see you dealing with children. Yeah, I'm a child protection specialist. Thank you, Jason. And uh, there's something to do with asthma as well, eh? Exactly, I'm a smart. You're a smart. Thank you, Jesus. This is a live broadcast from heaven. A prominent nation in the region. A leading telecom giant on the continent once powerful allies until all hell broke loose. The deportation of the chief executive officer, Wim van Helipute. Police say his actions had jeopardized national security. The duo was arrested by security agents headed by internal security organization. What is currently unfolding at MTN Uganda, shocking as it may seem, had already been foreseen by Prophet Elvis Mbonye. What is unprecedented about the prophecy is the level of fallout between MTN Uganda and the Ugandan government, once the best of allies. And at the time it was given, this prophecy was totally inconceivable. And yet two years later, the events of this saga played out precisely as prophesied by prophet Elvis Mbonyi. Those of you who work in MTN, you're on the spotlight, eh? But not for so uh, very many good things. Uh, there'll be some kind of heat and what, eh? You know, MTN and, you know, all this and, you know, accusations and, you know, counter, you know, you know, a lot of, you know, things around MTN Uganda, eh? Two years later, at the start of 2019, MTN Uganda would suddenly face the deportation of four of their highest management positions from two general managers all the way to the chief marketing officer and the CEO, leaving the telecom giant in complete disarray. On Saturday 19th, it was a usual day for foreign Olivier Printout, a French national, and Annie Tabra, a Rwandan returning to work in Uganda. However, upon disembarking from the airplane at Entebbe Airport, the duo was arrested by security agents headed by internal security organization. According to the police deputy spokesperson, Pauli Namaye, Printout, who worked as chief market officer in Tabora as head of distribution, used their positions to jeopardize Uganda's security. I would be able to establish that the activities of these two people uh, while using their offices uh, were causing uh, national security uh, to be compromised. A most stunning detail in the prophecy highlighted was the heat, the accusations, and the counter accusations to do with MTN. While the MTN officials were accused of threatening national security, there were counter accusations from MTN and the governments of Rwanda, France, Belgium, and South Africa that their nationals were being unjustly targeted. Biggest telecom operator may yet find itself entangled in a wave of legal showdowns with the state after the deportation of the chief executive officer, Wim van Helipute. The telecom, which has had four of its key officers deported in connection with threatening national security, today appointed an acting CEO, Gordian Chomkama. A crisis meeting was held at the headquarters of the company this morning possibly to manage the crisis that has hit the telecom giant. Now, this, this company, or rather brand, has been in the country for more than 20 years and has been what I could call, you know, in the good books, you know, with the government. I mean, generally, no one would have seen, you know, such intricacies falling, you know, befalling this brand. Uh, what, what's your take on that? In 2017, early 2017, the prophet said that MTN would be in the news for not so very good reasons. Now, for a company that has maintained 20 years of 
proper reputation, with track record, their sponsor and everything, that was something of a shocker. And when it happened, the response of MTN now coming up to mock the prophet uh, also triggered a lot of these dramatic events. But it goes to show that, you know, when the Lord is involved in something, systems can crumble in a day. MTN at that time, having already had a few scandals, but not probably relating them to the prophecy, went on to mock the whole um, uh, honor thing with a, a very mindless and tasteless advert, which uh, I'm not so sure it had any traction in the market, rather than perhaps um, fulfilling somebody's uh, perhaps distaste for the prophetic. Uh, the prophetic word was given for them um, to know, to, to reconcile themselves to the agenda of the Lord. Uh, what went wrong is that they didn't heed the prophetic voice. They were not humble enough to honor the anointing. And uh, the best way they could handle the anointing was by mocking it, by making uh, an advert of, I think, be your own prophet. And uh, they are mocking the prophet while sitting cross-legged. Do you think that this response could have, you know, worsened the consequences for MTN? The government has never acted like this before. Where did this come from? I'm definitely sure that uh, the mocking of the prophetic and the prophecy and the, 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 the event that was the honoring of the prophet um, had a very, very big um, input in what has eventually become of MTN and what is still to become. The consequences were escalated by touching and mocking the anointing. Perhaps their secrets would either way have been unveiled but not to the extent that they're being unveiled because you can, uh, you can deal with tax evasion you can deal uh, with money laundering, but you don't play with national security. Certainly, that's not something you want to joke with. When you come to Uganda as a nation, it has a very strong security system. But with MTN, it was accused for trying to destabilize security in the nation. What do you pick from that? The purpose of the prophetic is to actually create a sense of the fear of God among people. Which fear had gone? People were fearing everything else but God. Now you're having him warning them about a leading, the leading taxpayer at the top of the economy that something bad is coming for them. Because the prophet says that the time has come why you ignore us at your own peril. Why does he say that? Because before there's, there have been instances where he has warned the state not to send choppers. All that was never hidden. He actually made steps to make sure these people do not send these choppers to Somalia because it would cost the lives of the pilots and their families and then the economy. And so the problem has been that there's no attention paid to it. There's no attention paid to how powerful that voice is, what the prophet says, because it's broadcast all over. It's on TV, it's on social media. I think nations and companies need to start picking it up and start acting rather than wait to see things happen. Most of the times with countries that have partnered or give aid, to other countries, for example, this in this scenario, France or Belgium, giving some money and helping out Uganda, there's always like a protection with the relationships. But in this case, we see MTN being out there accused. There's already a, a process of deport the top people, fire this person. What does that mean? Yet these countries have a relationship. Uh, what all this explains is that you're dealing with a man who has an authority that beats that beats and stretches beyond the boundaries of security, the boundaries of nations, because everything in that prophecy has to be put in context. So you have an international leading telecommunication company being shaken. Then you have four nationals being deported. Nationals from Italy, from Belgium, from Rwanda. Now, all those shows that actually the authority you're dealing with can actually shake international figures. Because these are not Ugandans who are being shaken. They really had a red carpet rolled out for them. And it wasn't good business by our government to have MTN have all that power. And maybe it was good for the citizen of this country that MTN's power is curbed. And maybe for that to happen, they had to, number one, misuse that power as they did. The, number two, they had to respond the way they did in a mocking way to the prophetic. The things for which those people were deported, from, from, from what we hear, it's matters that would actually affect national security. And um, so that is not something that is uh, easy to defend against. When it happens at the very top, and including non-nationals, it's very clear what the Lord is saying, that his authority, the prophet's authority in this day and age, in this land, is not just for 
it's not just limited by geography, it's not just limited by race, by color, by circumstances. So to assign to people in those echelons of society to realize that we are not untouchable. Either we hear what the prophet is saying or it, we are next. Because sometimes people think they are beyond, you know, reproach, they are beyond accountability. But when they realize that the prophetic word can go and destabilize things at the very top, then they realize that they are not beyond. So even presidents, even, you know, parliaments and cabinet people have to start thinking, what is the prophet saying? There is a compassion that wears out of him because it's possible for him to receive certain words like this and he says this nation has rejected me let me just keep it to myself after all I'm safe but it goes to show his heart and compassion for the nation that when the Lord shows him things uh, that are going to affect the nation he speaks them out but also that there is a power working through him that preserves the nation even where the governments have failed because it should have been the government to see certain things like this and stop them beforehand there is no other prophetic voice in this nation in this world of that caliber I can say that with absolute certainty. This exactly is the reason the Lord brings you before a prophet. If the prophet can pick up on something that has not yet showed up in the physical and he declares it to you and you see it he can tell you that your money is being counted. Glory to God. I hear a sound of an abundance. Glory to God. To become an heir of gold, visit our partnership desk every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at Zoe Grounds opposite KCCA Stadium or visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com slash heirs of gold. It's a lifestyle. Anything is possible here. The glory that is here is able to materialize anything at any time. The angels that are here are here at your service. To enter the realm of the spirit and realize there is absolutely nothing on this ground that is impossible. Absolutely nothing. Glory to God. We magnify your love. Thank you, Jesus. For there is none like you. We lift your name on high. shall be transformed. Amen. You are the spark of light in your home. Amen. Everything that your family and home has gone through, Amen. 
I behold it. Amen. And I call you Amen. to preserve the home. Amen. I have watched over you. Amen. I have called you Amen. that my light Amen. shall be Amen. the hope of your home. Amen. My light in you, says the Spirit of God. Amen. I shall not let you down. Amen. I shall cause them to see you. Amen. Even as I behold you. Amen. I shall lift you up and I shall begin to cause them to know Amen. that you are indeed my beloved. Amen. And you are my chosen in their midst. Amen. And I shall open their path Amen. that they may see my glory. Amen. Because your mother is not saved. Not so? Yes, she's not. She's not born again. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. The power of your name is here. He is Jesus. Light comes in your home. Amen. You've gone through a lot. Amen. What is affecting her Amen. will affect a girl. Do you have a sister? Yes, I have three sisters. This one, readable cinema. This. Your mother's blood is sick. Yes, she's sick. HIV. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. As I place my hands on you, eh? Amen. You believe what is happening to you now? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for her in the same breath as your mother. Eh? The power of the name you see is Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Life, life, life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you shall no long light. Amen. You shall no light. Amen. You shall no strength. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. favor comes to you. Amen. Open doors. Amen. An issue to do with a house and settlement yes, is sealed right now. Amen. Doors open for you. Amen. That you may gather your family and they may know that hope has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You have a school ministry, the Spirit of God says to you, Yes. May the grace that is here Amen. cause you, Amen. cause you to walk in with strength Amen. and dominion. Amen. And cause all kinds of contacts that are ahead, Amen. divine contacts, Amen. to come to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it is done. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you, Jesus. It is Jesus. In the name of Jesus, great doors open to you. Amen. Great doors open. Amen. I command doors of great employment. Amen. That the world around you Amen. may know the voice that is speaking to you and recognize it. Amen. And that they may know that once it is declared to you, Amen. It opens up. Amen. You're just going to begin hearing it. Eh? Amen. It opens up and you walk in. Amen. And there is rejoicing. Amen. And there is increase. Amen. And you're being taken up. Amen. And you're being promoted. Amen. In a very short while. Amen. You're in a place of prominence. Amen. And your name is circulating. Amen. The Spirit of God says, fear not. Amen. I am with you. I am with you. Amen. The tissues of your skin are messed up. Kelios. What are Kelios? Things like that. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Okay. Just stretch your hands to him. Just come here. Come here. Where the skin 
thing is. Then you can see it. Okay. Just stretch your hands here. In the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus, I cast this disease from its roots. I command it to dry up now. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your skin is completely well. In the name of Jesus, it is done. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. open door for you to all carry the same name. Eh? Let me first talk to both of you. You and you. Who's born in November? Me. You're born in November? Yes. I see you straightening people. Yes, I'm a physiotherapist. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> the Spirit of God yes. opens a path for you. Amen. First come. The hand of God. The hand of God is bringing your family into a place of greater strength. Amen. Amen. I see angels surrounding your home. Amen. And the people that thought they had left you alone, Amen. they shall see this light Amen. and they Amen. shall start wondering. Amen. Because there's a, about to be an explosion of such miracle favor Amen. and fulfillment Amen. in your home Amen. that so many people shall begin to see, okay, now let's go back. I'm talking about relatives that had cut themselves off. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God says, Amen. then you shall know my restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lot that is going to happen to you this year. And it's going to be a year where Amen. you are going to know the hand of God. Do you know what is happening to you now? Eh? Amen. You know it? Amen. You know what is happening now? Yes. The hand of God is on you. I see you dealing with children. Yeah, I'm a child protection specialist. Thank you, Jesus. The hand of God is on you. Amen. And it's going to increase you there. Amen. And Amen. these things of sometimes you have a job and sometimes it's not there. Exactly, exactly. It is that way? Yeah, that's how The it Spirit happens. of God says, it is, he's going to make you almost like an expert. Amen. Thank you, they are going to look for you and the place. Exactly. You will find something to do with Italy, something to do with Germany. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God is going to establish you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Repress the level take a lot of medicine every day. Every day. Every day. day. Every day. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, because you see, first, thank you, Jesus. There is something that has been wrong with your central nervous system. Yes, yes, with my head. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and uh, there's something to do with asthma as well. Eh? Exactly, I'm asthmatic. You're asthmatic. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is being dealt with now. Just relax. The power of your name is here. In the 
name of Jesus. of death in your life. Eh? This new life that you have. Don't entertain that. Eh? Something happened. You got involved with a man who was dishonest and there's a kid that comes. There's a man and a kid that comes. You have a kid, a child? Yes, yes. yes. Where's the father of the kid? I don't know. Okay. Now, the Spirit of God is restructuring your life. Amen. You are going to see His help, Amen. and then you will know how to trust Him Amen. after that to see how He builds your life. Because it is going to be a testimony to so many people. I'm telling you that. Amen. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command every disease. Just breathe in here. In the name of Jesus. Just breathe it in. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Your eyes don't see well also? Yes, I wear contact lenses. You wear contact lenses? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of your name is seen. In the name of Jesus. The power of your name is seen. That this is a big weekend right now, eh? So take it in now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Refresh the lele, brody manama. Thank you, Jesus. Now the spirit of God says to you, You are my own. Amen. You are my own. Amen. Don't entertain any thought of darkness. Amen. Because from today, Amen. you have been restored. You shall see my favor as never before. Amen. You shall see my light shine in your life. Amen. You shall see me gather everything that concerns you Amen. and putting it in place. Amen. You shall see my life. Amen. Do not listen and entertain the voice of the enemy. Amen. For there's a big testimony Amen. that comes with your calling Amen. that Amen. is being made right now. Amen. And then you shall be a strength to many, says the Spirit of the living God. And you shall see so much that belongs to you. I see a house around Entebbe, yes. in Kawuku. Yes, Entebbe Road, Kawuku. You want to sell it all? Right? I am looking for a tenant. It has been empty for a long time. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go and rejoice. Eh? In the 